Hey all you foxy ladies and groovy dudes! Let's turn on the lava lamp, plug in an 8-track, and kick off those platforms, because it's time for another episode of Larissa's Far Out Kitchen. On last night's episode of Emergency, it was that dreamy Roy DeSoto's turn to cook dinner for the guys at the firehouse. He found a recipe for beef bourgeonon in the newspaper. It contained a bunch of unusual ingredients and what he thought were complicated cooking instructions. And of course, this caused a bunch of laughs in the episode. In the end, it was just Roy and Johnny who got to eat it, but it was delicious. So tonight, I'm making beef bourguignon. Now, I'm not using Julia Child's recipe, which is a classic and delicious, but let's see what ingredients we're gonna need. I've got two pounds of beef stew meat. Now, this is a chuck roast that I've cleaned and cut into bite-sized pieces. I've also got half a pound of bacon. This I've actually cooked halfway through and then put in this container because I used the other half a pound a while ago and I didn't want this bacon to go bad. I also have about a full pound of shallots. Now these shallots have been peeled and I've cut the bottoms off. You don't need to cut the tops off unless they're really long and dry. I do also have half a pound of mushrooms. Now these are baby Bellas and I have stemmed and gilled them because they are a little bit big. Now I've sliced them fairly thick. If you slice them too thin, this is gonna cook a long time and they'll just disappear. We're also gonna need two cups of a robust red wine. So that means a Pinot Noir or Burgundy or a Bordeaux or a Sangiovese, although that's gonna get a little bit expensive. And I'm glad about the two cups of wine because that means I get to drink a cup of this while I'm cooking. We'll also need some beef consomme, garlic, butter, flour, salt and pepper, and our bouquet garni. For the bouquet garni, I have three or four sprigs of fresh thyme, three bay leaves, and three or four sprigs of fresh parsley. Now I like to keep my parsley in a water glass with just a little bit of water in the refrigerator. It'll keep fresh for a long time. This is getting cooked on the stovetop in a large Dutch oven, and then it's gonna spend some time in the oven. So let's get over there and start cooking. I have my burner on medium. We're starting with this bacon. Now, if you're using raw bacon, that's fine. If you're gonna use the partially cooked bacon, make sure that you put all of the fat in there because we do need all of it. Okay, we don't wanna burn this bacon, so it's looking nice and brown. Now we're gonna take this out with a slotted spoon because we wanna leave all this fat in the bottom. and the beef is going in next. And I'm cooking this in batches. And I'm seasoning this beef as we cook it. So about half of the salt and the pepper. We'll season the other batch when we cook it. All right, this is pretty well done. We're moving on to the next batch. Now this is gonna spend an hour and a half in the oven, so this will be fully cooked. And I'm just putting this in with the bacon. And once I get this in, I'll season this batch.
Okay, and again, this is just going in with the bacon. We'll start in with the shallots after this. All right, we're going to add in the butter first before we do the shallots. So let's let this melt. All right, now we're just going to add in these shallots. And we're just going to let these sit and soften for just a few minutes. While these shallots soften, I have my bouquet garni thai. Now this is just my parsley and the thyme and the couple of bay leaves. And it's just tied in some cheesecloth. So we want these to get just a little bit of color. So let's, oh, they're looking nice. Okay, let's let these go a little bit longer. While these are browning, I have my oven turned on to 350 degrees to preheat since this is going in there probably pretty soon. Okay, these are looking good. So we can now put in our mushrooms. give this a little bit of time and I'm going to put the garlic on top so that it can soften. All right, let's stir this and see how this looks. Oh, spectacular. We put the garlic in last and let it soften so that it doesn't burn. If at any time you feel like there is not enough oil in here or not enough fat, just add a few tablespoons of canola oil. Sometimes these mushrooms can absorb quite a bit. All right, this looks pretty good. I'm going to sprinkle the two tablespoons of flour over this and then stir it all in. Then afterwards, we're adding all the meats back in. I'll just give this flour just a few seconds to cook. All right, we're pouring all of this meat and the bacon back in and any meat juice. Once we get this stirred up, we're adding in the beef consomme and the wine. Then this is getting lidded and going in the oven. All right, the beef consomme. We'll get that bouquet garni in there as well. wine. Okay. 
Then once this comes back up to a simmer, we'll put the bouquet garni in, lid it, and then turn it off and it'll go in the oven. My oven is hot and this is starting to simmer, so let's get this bouquet garni in here. Tuck it down in. All right, let's get this lidded and in the oven. Roy and Johnny ate their beef bourguignon plain. It's usually served over a starchy side dish, so mashed potatoes, rice, or noodles. I'm serving it over smashed potatoes. So I have these little yellow Yukon gold potatoes. They've been steamed and they're incredibly hot. These are getting smashed flat, drizzled with just a little bit of olive oil, seasoned with salt and pepper, and then they're getting fried in a skillet until they're nice and golden brown. We need to get this bouquet garni out of here. We don't want anyone eating this. And that's why you put it in the cheesecloth. This looks pretty close to what Roy and Johnny were eating. Let's give this a taste. And I already know it's pretty tender, yes. And it is so hot. Uh-huh. Amazing.